We all know by now that Aventurine will almost complete the ratio and Topaz team. This is a team that I've been waiting for for a while now and today I want to show the difference between someone like Chipard versus Aventurine if you were planning to pull for him to replace Chipard in the follow-up team. Disclaimer, the sustain slot will be the last slot that you will want to consider when talking about damage. If you're someone who does not have characters like Ronmei, Sparkle, or if you're thinking of spending some of your Robin funds for a sustain unit like Aventurine, you might want to reconsider because those characters will definitely be a better damage increase than a sustainer in a lot of cases. That being said, you clicked on this video because you have or want to run Topaz Ratio, so welcome to the club. You might be asking why I chose Japard for this example and not someone like Huo Huo who gives energy to the team and is able to solo sustain as well. The long answer is that it's hard to quantify something like Huo Huo's energy throughout fights. This is something that's easier to notice because it gives you immediate damage, right? You see your energy go up, your ults are there, your, your ults, you get your ults faster. Wow, this character is giving me so much. But it's also hard to estimate because her value is directly affected by how long the fights take, character builds, how much speed you have on each unit versus someone like Aventurine who will be providing your team damage by giving your team crit damage pushing Numbi to do more follow-ups overall and by providing his own personal damage, which Woho doesn't have. The short answer is that I don't want to try and simulate the two because it's kind of hard. For this example, I want to use my Topaz which is at E1 S1, ratio at E0, cruising in the Stellar Sea S5, of course it's free, and Ruan Mei, E0, memories to the past. I just want to show off how much damage these two DPS characters gain just by getting Aventurine at E0. No light go. I'll release a follow-up video to this. Get it? Follow. Yeah, follow-up video to this talking more about what I think about the light cone, hopefully before the patch goes live. I'll show the builds for Topaz and Ratio for reference before we compare the two. Japard isn't currently running Broken Kill, he's using 2-piece Bellabog. So for this example, to make it more fair to Aventurine, this favors Japard by the way, but to make it more fair to Aventurine, we won't use Broken Kill even if I do believe Broken Kill is gonna be his best set just because of how much res you get from his passives. With Japard, Topaz is doing 16.3k on her basics and Numbi is doing 59k every follow-up and Dr. Ratio is doing 66.1k on his follow-up attacks. With Aventurine, who can we use? With Aventurine, Topaz is doing 17.1k on her basics and 63.5k on Numbi. Dr. Ratio is doing 71.8k on his follow-up attacks. For Topaz, it's around an 8 percent increase and for ratio around 9% on their follow-ups. It sounds like this isn't that huge and while it is an increase, it isn't that big considering that this really only is an increase when attacking a boss with Aventurine's ult because of the crit damage it provides. The thing is, this is what you'd get if you were to pull for Aventurine and just slap all of Japard's artifacts on him. No crit damage, just defense, defense, sorry, defense, speed, defense, ERR. And that's not his strength. So if you're getting Aventurine, you're building him to his strength, obviously, which is the ability to do damage while also sustaining. If you factor in the follow-ups Aventurine provides to make Numbi go again and his own personal damage, which can easily, easily reach 30 case with something like Destiny's Threads, not even Jopard's Light Cone, Destiny's Threads, which is a free-to-play S5-able Light Cone, like right now. All of this damage adds up really, really quickly. And that's the thing about follow-up teams, I think. If every upgrade to a follow-up team is 5 to 6k damage, like with E1 Topaz, S1 Topaz, Aventurine, S1 Aventurine, and future characters, that they are for sure adding, it might not be that noticeable damage wise like per follow up but the overall damage per rotation adds up to be really really good. That's all I have for now honestly and this is more like a teaser for the next video where I will be comparing Aventurine like with a damage build and addressing the value of his light cone. I'm also just really hyped for the character and kinda bored waiting so yeah I'll see you in the next video.